same time, many pro-Palestinian groups are holding rallies around the world today. This one here taking place in Amman, Jordan. And in the Big Apple, dozens gathered in Times Square. Many are concerned about violence because the former leader of Hamas called for jihad, asking the Muslim world to join the fight against Israel. New York City Mayor Eric Adams and Governor Kathy Hochul have said there are no credible threats. Still, the NYPD is on high alert with every officer on duty. Joining us now with some inside information on how federal agencies are monitoring the situation here and abroad is former senior officer with the CIA, John Franchi. Hi, John. Hi, Christine. So, John, we know there are no credible threats, but speaking from your own experience and from the connections you still have in government security, are there concerns about the possibility of the U.S. being attacked? I think the concerns there are more inspired attacks, and th at this point, at least, with uh, what's happened in the, in the situation over in Gaza and, and with Israel, you know, that people, different groups, looking to take advantage of the situation, white like extremist groups, anti-Semitic groups, looking and seeing common purpose here, and then trying to do, you know, attacks either here in the United States, lone wolves being inspired. I think those are some of the things we have to be concerned about. Harder to monitor, of course, but uh, you know, I think I don't think we're really seeing anything specific, any real threats, though, as, as, as the government has said so far. Yeah, and um, since 9-11, we've always heard the term sleeper cells. So are security agencies right now tracking any specific sleeper cells here in the U.S.? I think there's always that concern, especially with what's been going on in the southern border. And I'm, you know, not trying to be political here, but you know, our borders over the years, last 20 years or more, have been fairly open. Uh, it's been fairly easy for groups to get in uh, or people to get in. So I think that's something that you know the FBI, especially, has been monitoring over the years, and is probably more so today than at any time. Mm. And we just saw in this newscast some video of pro-Palestinian protests happening around the world, including in the United States. What are intelligence officials learning as they monitor the chatter among the groups that lead these protests? I think it's all about the connections and planning. Are these are these uh, protests being used by groups to inspire violence or, or any other kind of planning or to motivate people? You know, overseas, the, the protests are massive, as we've seen already in Amman and Cairo, uh, Yemen, and you know, but that's how that was what Khalid Michel called for, go for the people to come out like that. And over in those countries, it's a way countries allow that to happen because they want the population to kind of burn off some steam, get their opinions out there. They monitor them very closely, but they also have to be uh, they have to be accepting of how people view these situations. So, you know, here in the states, I think we're going to see these see some protests. I think today in New York, there's some uh, throughout the country, and but in, in general, I think it's going to be more the same. Uh, you know, there's no threats according to anything I've heard. The problem is, is there's a number of trigger points coming over the future. Whether if the Israelis invade uh, Gaza, if there's things that happen up north with uh, Lebanese Hezbollah, if things get worse in the West Bank, all of those are triggers that could make for more protests and potentially could in, in incite violence. Violence. But at this point, no, I think right now they're just kind of watching and seeing and who's involved and who's communicating. All right, John Franchi, former senior officer with the CIA, thanks so much for your insight. Thanks, Christine. Currents News and the Tablet will continue to monitor the terror in the Holy Land, giving you the latest updates from a Catholic perspective. So be sure to follow us online and on social media. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.